So we've been waiting for him. Steve went up the road to see if we could see him a bit further on, came back, no sign of him. We've, st we've sat here for 10, nearly 15 minutes waiting for him and he's not turned up, so we can't wait any longer. We're just on a little walk along the the main street of Broadway, just approaching the, uh, the little bridge here. As you see, the views are fantastic, and that's looking down down the main street. Our hotel down there on the right. So as I was seeing, some stunning views here on the Pyrenees. This little bar restaurant across on your right there. We've got a few more down, down to the left. We're just discussing um, how we're going to approach some of the uh, ride ride outs because we've had such a long journey yesterday. We're thinking about um, just having a little short blast. A little short blast is it? You can actually see the road just going up, winding its way, winding its way around and up there. But just around this corner here, there's a, a gorge up there. So later on this afternoon, we might go there. Just it's about a 35-minute ride. Just have a little blast out. Uh, but this morning we're just going to spend time in and around Broadway. We're just going to have a little walk around Broadway here and just see what delights it can offer. Uh, we've been recommended this little. A uh, restaurant here on the left, which is uh, more of a pizza restaurant. So no doubt, during the course of uh, we're here for five nights, four full days. There's going to be rain forecast for one, so we'll just have to see how it all works out. Hey, this is the start of our next adventure. We set off yesterday from Portes. Set off at half past nine. Um, it took us nine hours. Didn't get here till six o'clock in the evening nine hours across northern Spain just to get to this little place here called Brotto which is in the it's in the Pyrenees we've never been here before so we're going to take these next five nights we're here just to explore the area and see what uh, the Pyrenees have to offer we've heard so many good reports and stories I've we've looked at some videos other people's posted um, and it looks a very uh, interesting place especially for motorbike riding so we'll give it a go. We're absolutely knackered last night when we got when we got in at um, six o'clock, as I said, um, because we're riding through heat, 36 degrees through most of the journey. Once we had left the foothills of the Picos, the temperature temperature just rocketed through the day. So we're just going to um, we got back and we just had to go for a pint, drop a drop a kit, a nice cool pint of beer which went down well. We've just had a walk around the, the back streets of Broadway and what it consists of basically is just apartments um, and houses and whatever. you. There's not really a lot to see. It's a nice walk down by the, uh, the water side where we've just been. But basically this is what you can see behind is just the main street of Broadway and that's what it consists of, which is fine. It's got a number of bars, there's about three or four bars and three or four restaurants to choose from. Now we're just going to have a walk, just come from the, uh, the hotel behind us and we're just going to have a walk up this side of the village to see if there's anything else up that way. So old church is at the back of the uh, main street. Then um, bells were going diddly bong last night. We had a little chuckle about it, said it was Quasimodo. We were going that fast, you couldn't have been pulling the rope 
had to be standing up there hitting the bell with a blooming hammer. There's David, David Bailey there looking. Oh, he's going to give himself a selfie. Have I got to get on? Photo bomb. <laughs> <laughs> We've just noticed in the distance there, I don't know if you can pick it up on the um, on the action camera, but there's a small waterfall just come right out the middle of the rock, halfway up that um, cliff face. Actually, it's a lovely location. I'll see if I can get the drone up and get some footage. yesterday's long haul just come out of Broadway now we're going to have a look up up their mountains up a gorge, I think it's about a 25 minute ride when we're checking out the areas and places to stay in, uh, around the Pyrenees we'll pick this because of its main street and, and also to the left there you've got the garage which is ideal um, you've got your main street with your restaurants and bars in. I mean, look at that um, sight nav. Look at the bloody twine here, like a plate of spaghetti. Brilliant. There's the last behind one now. Just been waiting for Jeff at the uh, hotel entrance. So as I say, I'm just going out just for a, just a little bit of a... Uh, an hour or so's uh, little ride just to look at the, the area around here. Just because our, our backsides are knackered from yesterday's raid. Pork National. We're on the N 260 at the moment. We're just going to turn off after a few more bends. I'm just conscious of uh, making sure I don't miss the entrance. Spectacular view. Cheer the 
screen down so you can see a bit more. Just for a, just a five minutes. Uh, you see, we had his radio. See, he's waiting over there. Steve's saying he, he, he was stopped there, waving at him for this way. He says he waited there for him. He says he just went straight past him. So, we're not two minutes out of Broto, and we've lost someone. Someone on the first bend. So Steve is just away to see if you can uh, find him or if he's waiting. I would imagine he would have just stopped. Of course, we'll be cooking here because it's now 32 degrees according to me little dash. And it's not pleasant sitting here in the sun with a helmet on and a hot engine under you. Right, we've been stood here past 10-15 minutes waiting for Jeff. Steve waited him at the junction but he head down, horse up, went straight on. So we've been waiting for him. Steve went up the road to see if he could see him a bit further on, came back, no sign of him. We've, st we've sat here for 10, nearly 15 minutes waiting for him. And he's not turned up, so we can't wait any longer. Hello right then, Stevie. Yes, then there was four. The sun's went behind a cloud. That's fantastic. That was a little place where we had that uh, reserve hotel booked. We'll probably be able to uh, see it when we get past here. Well, yeah, I just walk straight across the road, not looking on out. on the wrong side of the road though I'll pull forward a little bit more no see if it'll uh, open up no well we're going up to the left there then we'll 
we'll, we'll try the left. We'll go up the right here. It's got no entry. And it's adventure, an adventure full of trials and tribulations. See where this gets with. I don't think there'll be any buses up here. Mention a good workout. Oh, we've gone off roading. A proper road now. Well, concrete. It's a car coming to him. There's got to be something up here because there's a lot of cars coming down. And another one. Pretty hell, it's like the M25 now. Looks lovely down there, mind you, seeing the pools. a bridge beautiful water looks like a hood and all that up there so fingers crossed it's a little a little coffee place. Well, you see, you've got an adventure bikes. You wanted a bit of off-roading. Up here, do you think? We'll have a look. Well, fish and chips. Well, we'll pop in here, see if we can get a cover. It's quite a nice little campsite here, we've just pulled up into. Just going to the little bar here, there's a sun terrace. But we've elected to sit inside in the shade. We've come into here, the dank, dark, little shady area. Mm -hmm. 
That was an interest, interesting excursion. Um, eventually up that track. Uh, we stopped off near the top of it, just to the campsite, just to have some uh, late lunch. Now on our way back down to Brodo. We're pulling for some fuel, so we're all ready to go. 31 degrees now this afternoon. It's starting to get a bit cloudy, so it's forecast for a bit of rain tomorrow, so we'll see how it goes. We'll get filled up with peril, and then uh, we'll take it from there when we get a more accurate forecast in the morning. Well, as we full up, in case we get out tomorrow, if we don't, we'll full up in case we get out the next year. View map. Yeah. 